notice that the moon looks different every night? Sometimes it's just a little sliver of light in the sky, and sometimes it's a big bright full moon with lots of stages in between. Over the course of a month, the lit up part of the moon gets bigger and bigger until it becomes a full moon. Then the bright part gets smaller and smaller until it's all dark again. The different ways that the moon can look are called phases. If you watched our video about the moon's phases, now you'll know why the moon changes. But do you want to know a fun way to remember what all eight phases of the moon look like? You can use what you've learned to make a game, one that turns the moon into a puzzle. To make this game, you'll need four pieces of white construction paper and four pieces of black construction paper. You should also get a marker and scissors and a grown-up to help with the cutting. Now you have everything you need to make your puzzle. Remember how there are eight phases of the moon? You can use these eight pieces of paper to show what those phases look like. All you have to do is cut out four light circles and four dark circles and then arrange those circles so they make the eight phases of the moon. The first step is to cut out the circles. To help you cut the circles, you can draw one on your construction paper so you know where to cut. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this lid to help me draw a perfect circle. Now that all the circles are cut out, it's time to start making the different moons. Let's start with the new moon. That's when the moon looks totally dark, so you can put aside one of your dark circles. Remember what comes after the new moon? If you said crescent, you're right. That's when just a sliver of the moon is lit up on the right hand side, and the rest of it looks dark. So you'll need two pieces to make this moon, a light one and a dark one. First, take a light circle and cut out a sliver. Now you just need to cut out the shape of the dark part of the crescent moon. To do that, take a dark circle and cut out another sliver. I'm going to use my light construction paper and put it over the top as a guide for my sliver. If you put together the small part of the light circle on the right side with the big part of the dark circle on the left side, you can make a crescent moon. Next comes the quarter moon. To make that, just cut a dark circle down the middle and a light circle down the middle too. Take one piece of the light circle and one piece of the dark circle and put them together with the lighter piece on the right side. And now you have a quarter moon. Next comes the gibbous moon. That's when the moon is mostly lit up except for a sliver of dark. It's like the opposite of a crescent moon. And to make the gibbous moon, you can just use the pieces from when you cut out the crescent moon. There was an almost full light circle and a sliver of dark circle left over. If you put the light circle on the right side and the dark sliver on the left, you'll make a gibbous moon. Next comes the full moon. That's easy. All we need is a full light circle. Do you remember what comes next? Now that the lit up part of the moon is done growing, it starts to get smaller again. So the next phase is another gibbous moon, but this time the dark sliver is on the right side. To make this gibbous moon, you can cut a sliver out of a light circle and a sliver out of a dark circle. Then put the bigger part of the light circle on the left side of the smaller part of the dark circle to make a gibbous moon. All right, we're almost done. Next comes another quarter moon, and you already have pieces for that. Just take the half of the dark circle and the half of the light circle that you have left over from the first quarter moon you made. But this time, put the dark part on the right side and the light part on the left side, and there you have it. The last phase of the moon is another crescent, and again, you already have the pieces to make it. Just take the sliver of light circle and the almost full dark circle you have left and put them together with the light sliver on the left. And that's it, you've made all the phases of the moon. But this is more than just a cool project to show the different ways a moon can look. You've also created a puzzle game. To play the game, all you have to do is mix up the pieces and put them back together in the right order. Starting with the new moon, pick out the pieces of paper to make each phase. So go ahead, try mixing up the pieces and solving the puzzle you made. We'd like to give a big thank you to Google Making Science for helping us make this episode, and thank you for joining us. If you do make this puzzle, we would love to see it. So grab a grown-up and send us an email to kids at scishow.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time here at the fort.